Logs and logs. <laughs> Log and logs? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so for um, this first one right here, uh, there's just three major laws that I want to make sure you guys know. And these are really cheap notes, guys. I'm not going through any major explanations. Just explaining the laws really quick, okay? So we got uh, two logs that are the same. They have the same base. That makes them the same logs, okay? And then if you're adding them together, a cool uh, law is that you just take what's inside the logs and you multiply them together. So 2 times 10 would be 20 and x times x would be x squared. So our result would be log base 3 of 20 x squared. So that's one of the laws. Next law is uh, subtraction. Now, I notice I put the parentheses here. You don't have to have the parentheses uh, for this one because there's multiplication inside, but some people still like to do it because it's neat and like neat and clean. So we have two logs that are the same right here again. So these are base five logs and we have 12 y to the third inside and three y and this, but this time we're subtracting. So because we're subtracting, it's, instead of multiplying like we did earlier with addition, we're going to divide what's inside. So if we divide 12 and three, that would be four, and then dividing uh, y to the third by y, that's y squared. Uh, but this is what it looked like if you just set it up, and then we gonna simplify it a little bit. Uh, we get log base five of four y squared. Again, you don't have to have the parentheses on those. Okay, next one, last one. Okay, we have four times, uh, four times log base six, x to the third. And pretty much what you do is when, whenever there's something multiplying to the log, you can uh, just raise it to make, make that multiplication into uh, a fourth power or make it into a power of what's inside. And so this would become uh, log base six X to the 12th power. Okay. And the reason for that is, let me see, I can get my, uh, okay, pause that. Um, the reason for that is because uh, if you multiply something, um, that's like adding it four times. So it'd be like log base six, x to the third plus and it's four times so here let me pop it up there really quick booyah and what would you do with all of these um results inside the logs okay what would you do with all of these since you're adding all these logs together you would multiply them that's what our first law says and so if you go x to the third times x to the third times x to the third times x to the third is that the same as x to the third raised to the fourth power see it's a quick shortcut you take the whatever's multiplying to the log and make it the power on the inside now, all these uh, laws can go backwards, too. So, um, <clears throat> like this one right here, you can factor the 20 and the x squared into 2x and x to the 10 and change it to a plus. Um, or, you know, vice versa. If you have a power right here, you can drop it to in the, in the front. So, actually, we have a power right here. We could have dropped that in the front and just have a 12 in the front. So, it would be 12 times log base 6 to the x power. Okay, last thing. Uh, and that's how you translate these. Okay, so <clears throat> the log is written with the base number. The result is on the inside of the log and the expo is on the outside. The other way to write it, the inverse way to write it, um, is base and then the expo and then the result. This is the normal way you're used to it. The log is a new operation, right? It's the opposite of a regular exponential. So this is, this is called the logarithm and this is called the exponential way to write it. So a quick example I think would be sufficient here. So we have um, uh, this crazy decimal raised to the one half power and our result is 0 0.5, okay? So that's the square root, by the way. Um, so, and this is uh, what we had written earlier, okay? Just the earlier notes, okay? We have that logarithm way and we have the exponential way. We're starting out with an exponential. So uh, the first thing we gotta look at is um, the base, okay? So the base becomes the base down here on the log. So 0.25 becomes the base down here. And then the result is going to be the answer. So the result is 0.5. Uh, so we're going to write that in there. We're going to put 0.5 inside the log. And then the last one is the expo. So the expo is what the log equals. So let's write equals there. The expo in this one is one half. And so uh, we write one half. And so these are pretty much saying the same thing, okay? But they're just written in a different way. One is with the log operation and one is with um, an exponential operation.